Morning, an exclusive look at this recently discovered section of the Wikiwachi Spring system. How incredible is this video? Yeah, this video is amazing. Meteorologist Amanda Holly has a closer look now at this exclusive video and the environmentalists behind it. Amanda? Yeah, when we think of Wikiwachi Springs, a lot of us think of the mermaid show and the crystal clear waters that we kayak on. But recently I spoke with the group who is exploring parts of the park never seen before, 400 feet below the surface. This new video is an area named Minas Tirith in Wikiwachi Springs. Explorers with the Karst Underwater Research Group recently discovered it during a 16-hour dive. It consists of three huge rooms, and they believe this is the primary source of spring water for the river. It had taken almost two years of looking, and uh, we were actually able to find where the, uh, where the spring source was. Brett Hemphill is a director with KUR and is one of only a handful of people to have seen this with his own eyes. The group takes months to plan these dives that bring them miles back into a spring system. They explore and document our delicate aquifer. While it's a thrill, they don't do it for themselves. They do it for you. I feel like I have a responsibility for other people to see so that they can turn around and go, you know, I may never do that, but it's amazing and that, that needs to be protected. This particular area is about a mile and a half from the nearest opening on the surface, with depths reaching up to 400 feet. It's a resource all around us that we can't see. So as people, we feel like we're really not empowered to help. But the reality is, is we are. Where we really need to protect is where the water's going into the ground, because ultimately that's what, that's what gives us our beautiful springs. I always tell people, the river continues. The matrix of underground rivers flow for hundreds of miles silently under our feet every day, but it's changing. You know, the sad thing is, is a lot of this I want to document because I'm, I'm fearful that, you know, 20 years from now, people will go and look at springs that are green and clear and go, wow, that's beautiful. And they'll never know that it used to be so clear it looked like air. And while it might seem impossible for just one person to help keep the waters flowing out of a spring clean, the area where the springs are actually replenished with water is very localized, so you can help by limiting fertilizer use and by just using water more efficiently. Like after it rains, turn the sprinklers off for a little bit because, well, you got that water naturally. Yeah, I, I can't get over the video. <laughs> it's amazing. It is, and we were talking yesterday about this, and I was asking you, I was asking Amanda, what kind of oxygen tanks or how much oxygen do they need, but you taught me something very interesting about this. Yeah, so on the air that we, that we breathe up here, you know, it's a mixture of gases. There is oxygen, but there's also nitrogen and a few other things in there. At those depths, at, you know, 200 to 400 feet, oxygen in the capacity that we breathe it on the surface is actually toxic to us at those depths. Mm -hmm. So you have to take away some of that oxygen and replace it with helium. So they call it trimix. It's a wow. mixture of nitrogen, helium, and a little bit of oxygen. And that's in the tank. That's in the tanks yeah. on their back. Yep, so and they're 400 feet below ground. Yes, below the surface of the ground and incredible. underground. Incredible. <laughs> and, and Amanda does this. It's just to go this far, but I don't go quite that deep. So but I, I do cave dive. Yeah it's, yeah, it's pretty crazy. All right. Well, this awesome. morning, let me show you what it looks like out.